Good morning, church family. We're so glad that you're joining us for First Things First. This is just one of my favorite times of year when we just set aside time together as a church body to hear God's voice for what's happening in the earth today and around us. You know, the word says in 1 John 5 that we have this confidence that when we pray, he hears us and we ask anything according to his will, he hears us and he answers our prayer. And one of the things that I've really been seeking the Lord this year about and during this First Things First challenge is revival. I really believe that God is going to pour out His Spirit in a new way on the earth this year. Super excited about it. I think our church and our community is positioned and we are personally positioned in different areas in order to see this happen. But you know, church, all of the revivals that have happened throughout history have all been birthed out of prayer sincere, fervent prayer of people coming together, just like we're doing in these first 21 days. And it made me think of a guy named John Wesley, who was uh, part of the first great awakening in America. And he has this quote, and I wanna read it to you. It says, give me a hundred preachers who fear nothing but sin and desire nothing but God. And I care not one straw, whether they be clergymen or laymen, such alone will shake the gates of hell and set up the kingdom of heaven on earth. God does nothing but an answer to prayer. See, what John Wesley knew is that the purposes and the call on his life could not be accomplished without prayer. And it's the same for us, church. No matter where God has you, whether you're in the marketplace, whether you're a stay-at-home mom, whether you're in ministry or in the healthcare field, it really doesn't matter the location you are, except for the fact that that is where God wants to pour his spirit out. So spend some time. I encourage you to seek God on what that means in your life and where he's positioned you. The people around you need the anointing on your life. And that really comes through spending time with the anointed one, which is super exciting. So I call you blessed. I'm so thankful for you, church family, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.